Again, I'm, I'm Representative Bob Dole, representing Illinois' 10th Congressional District. Uh, and in the suburbs of Chicago, uh, the area that I represent, we're losing one person every three days in the collar counties. We lose one every day in Cook County. And this is an epidemic. But today I want to talk about one in particular. His name's Alex La Liberté. And here with me today are Alex's father, Gary, his mother, Jody, and his sister, Chelsea. Alex was uh, an all-American kid. He grew up in Buffalo Grove, went to Stevenson High School, which was a great school in the 10th Congressional District. He played sports, got good grades, had lots of friends, and went off to college. What happened there, though, is, is that something mysterious happened. Alex would check himself into a hospital. He was sick. His parents didn't know what was going on. His teachers didn't know what was happening. But actually, what was going on is Alex was withdrawing. He was in withdrawals for prescription drugs. He would get better. He would get out. He would repeat the cycle over and over again. And this happened until Alex's sophomore year. Just before his final exams, Alex actually overdosed on prescription drugs and heroin and died. Just like the story you heard from Susan a minute ago, he was 20 years old. I can't even imagine the pain as a father uh, of losing a child to a heroin overdose, to any sort of an overdose. And frankly, that's one of the reasons why our bipartisan Bill Lolly's Law, which is going to be voted on tonight, named in Alex's memory, is that first step forward. Lolly's Law increases access to the life-saving antidote called naloxone, which has already saved nearly 100 lives in Lake County, Illinois alone in just a little over one year. What happened was is that the community got together. The Lake County Opioid Initiative said, what can we be doing differently? They worked with first responders. They worked with stakeholders, with students, with treatment facilities. And what they were able to find is that the first responders actually are on the scene faster than the, the paramedics. The police actually asked, as we go into police week, the police actually asked if they could have naloxone because they didn't want to watch someone die while they were just standing there. The World Health Organization says that if we can actually put naloxone out there, we have the opportunity to save an additional 20,000 lives each and every year. Along with the other bills that the House is going to be voting on today, Lolly's Law is a decisive step not only to save young people like Alex from falling victim to drug abuse, but also to help those in our communities struggling to get their lives back on track. Through Lolly's Law and these other bills, it is my sincere hope that Alex's lasting memory will include giving thousands of others a second chance at recovery and sparing their families from this incredible heartbreak.